Hey, it's Brickzar! And today we're going to do a vintage Star Wars Lego review. An epic Star Wars set from the early days of the Ultimate Collector series. We have set 7191, the Ultimate Collector series X-Wing Fighter. This set is very cool. It has 1,304 pieces. It makes this X-Wing Fighter. It is the first Ultimate Collector Series X-Wing Fighter. They have the Red 5 that's out now that you can still buy. This was, I think, a regular $100 retail price back when it came out in 2001, I believe. And it is pretty big. It's so big I can't really do it justice on my table here. I have to back up to get it all in the picture. Now this set is full of rare parts. Parts that will never be made again in the color that they are in. And it's pretty good for the uh, building techniques that they had back then. Actually I think this might have came out in 2000 instead of 2001. But um got all the classic light grays and dark grays in it. It does come with an R2-D2 minifigure, even though the cockpit is larger than minifigure scale. It does have some fragile parts to it um, that we'll look at on the wings. Uh, these parts, some of them can come off these uh, thrusters or whatever they are. Kind of loose. The antenna can come off. But, um, it does have some working features. And it's amazing the details that they got in using just some basic elements. It looks really good. And it does detach real simply from the, um, the base here. I'll set this down and show you how that works. And on the base there we see the information about about the uh, X-Wing Fighter. We have Incom Corporation X-Wing Fighter. And it's got the um, um, the dimensions of what it would be and the specs or whatever. But all it does is it just slides right out and there's a hole on the bottom of the X-Wing Fighter. A 2 by 2 square hole that the uh, is designed to just sit over this two by two opening like so. All right. All right, we'll just do a pan all the way around the whole thing. You can tell me if I built anything wrong. I think I built it right. I did uh, have one po point where I had to open up the interior in the fuselage or the, the main area, whatever they call it. Um, where I'd left a couple of plates off. So it is the X-Wing Fighter. Now this has a lot of stickers and since I bought this used some of my stickers are com coming off. This set was not designed to be taken apart and reassembled. Once you take it apart you pretty much mess the stickers up. Although really all you need to do is take each of the wings off and then you got the main body, so it's really uh, not necessary to disassemble it unless you're wanting to reuse the parts for something else. And there are stickers on the underside that you can't necessarily see from this angle. Like if we look up here, we got these stickers here. They are matching stickers on the underside, like so. This is a pretty unique piece here. This, um, um, oh, was that a canopy? So that is the, a look over the, the whole thing. Now we'll look at the cockpit. This is a unique piece, this uh, windshield. Now this does have stickers on it to give it that, that design. And also 
that uh, wedge piece is a decorated piece it's not a sticker and that's a very unique a very valuable piece I think it only occurred in this set and since it is dark gray even if they make that pattern again you'll never find this piece in this color again in R2D2 gets crushed when I open see when you open it it hits them so you really need to take R2D2 out and you can open it all the way and we see the controls here See if I can get where you can see it. There is the, um, there's a slope brick under there that has the, um, the Death Star trench when they were in the trench when Luke was going in there to, to blow up the Death Star. It's hard to see and he's got a joystick there. But it's, this is a nice little bucket seat so you can see it's larger than minifigure scale. Which is really, a, I think it looks good. And so R2-D2 plops right there. It's kind of a generic R2-D2. I don't think there's anything special about him other than maybe the grays. Of course, that's silver. So yeah, this is probably just your standard R2-D2. I'll double check that. Because this thing is just chock full of rare parts. The windscreen, the canopy on the bottom, that wedge brick there, uh, even some stuff you wouldn't necessarily think about because they're in light gray, they're valuable. Uh, these pieces here, uh, your barrels, those barrels are valuable. The the um, this is the only set that had these. <laughs> these are flower pots, is what they are. They're scale of flower pots. So, but there, this is the only set that had them in dark gray. So, those are valuable, and I'll I'll show them to you in more detail in just a minute. It is just a cool set. All right, before I get into building the X-wing fighter, I'm just going to go over some of the rare parts that are in here. Of course, this was a, a used one that I bought, so things like the uh, sticker sheet. Is assembled now. This wasn't on a plate; it was on a or a um, a large tile, I should say. This is a tile, a bunch of one by eight tiles, and so the sticker sheet is worth a lot. Um, this windscreen is transclear, and I think this is a sticker. Yeah, these are stickers on it. Uh, the windscreen has only appeared in this set, so unstickered, it's. Uh, going to be a 30 to 50 dollar piece and stickered even used it's going to be a 50 or 60 dollar part so that's very valuable you got these believe it or not these flower pots in dark gray there's a pin stuck in this one this is the only set they appeared in and something as mundane looking as this flower pot is a um how much did I say this was? Oh, it's $30 part. And you get at least four of them in here. So $30 that's a, that's, yeah, that's $120 worth of Lego parts just right there. And these are almost, they're like, almost like new condition. You got these Technic, or these, uh, not Technic, but these hubs. They're treaded for the tread hubs. These are $10 parts. At least two I've found so far. You got... Where's that? Oh, yeah, these little cylinder things. These are eight dollars because they're in the old gray. They're not made anymore. You got this canopy, which I think only appeared in this set. This is light gray. It's twenty-five dollar part. And the barrels. These light gray barrels. Don't they don't make them this color anymore? So these barrels are ten dollars a piece usually. And then there's some little hoses. Uh, in here and stuff that were only in this set yeah like these these are um, six dollars uh, for these hoses so that's just some of the rare parts there's a few others and again it's made up of a lot of light grays and dark grays that they don't make anymore and that's why some of them are valuable because some of these parts didn't yeah so this is 1304 pieces to make this set so i got them all laid out on the table here I was trying to think if I should sort them out, but I may just start building and if 
I try to dig through the pieces as I go. All right, now I'm going to show you how it does have one operational feature, uh, and it is the, the X-Wings to retract and open up or whatever you call it, but you got this knob here that turns the gears and you can close them. I think I got a little off center there. And then you can open them back up. Whoa. It loses the, the center of gravity changes when you when you close them. I got one of my gears I think has just gotten a little out of whack there. It opens fine. It doesn't seem to want to close all the way. But that's um, not too big a deal to me. All right, and even there's some little details here I probably overlooked when I was showing it to you. Just in the back, you got these little hoses here, these little lightsaber bars that are holding that. Um, I just really like it. So you got these little stickers there. You got stickers all over the place on this set, and uh, they're all. Most of them are over an assembly, so um, th these are like on several plates. Um, these here are on several plates. Now these aren't so bad, the ones on the flat flags, these little flaps here. And then there was uh, another flap on one of the wings over right here, but it doesn't have st stickers on it right there. So it's the flower pot propelled X-Wing fighter. It's very cool. Um, I'm going to tell you something else about it. But it is, you can take it off if you want to. You can't really play with it if you're a kid because it'll fall apart so easy. And now I've taken it off the stand and I can't set it back on there. Uh, get this thing back on there. Very cool. You know, and I, this is a set that back in the day when it was out at the stores, it was a hundred dollars, and I overlooked it because if you look at the box, remember the the box is more black and white. I mean, it's it's grayish, and it's the same way it was with the Tie Fighter, the Ultimate Collector Series Tie Fighter, and I I just um, I don't know. It just I, it didn't strike me to uh, hey. You want to build this set. You need to build it. And so even though I saw this box, the front of this box, I never got around to uh, getting this set back when it was available. Well, I did get it, but I never built it. But if you look at the back, the back's a much better picture. But this is kind of a beat-up old box. It's gotten damaged over the years. And this got more of the color pictures. Um, this is a little better. Right. And one other thing is, say you want to, to move, and you're going to transport this, I would take the uh, the wings out. So each of the four wings come out in one assembly. You could even take these rods off here if you wanted to. And so it, it can be moved, transported pretty well without being damaged too much. I mean, these little flower pot things are going to fall right off. There's nothing holding them. But... Um, but it's yeah it's yeah so it's a it's a good set to display and it's uh you can move it without uh causing too much damage even though it structurally has some weak points to it so there you have it set 7191 7191 say that right uh the ultimate collector series x-wing fighter a star wars set it's for ages 14 and up it is a kind of a little bit of a tricky build in places not really terribly hard uh, it is a hard set to reassemble. <laughs> it's much easier probably to build it right out of the box than it is to uh, try to uh, work with some stickers and stickers over assembly and things like that. But I, I like this set. Pretty cool. Thanks to Mardi Gras Man 23 who traded me, uh, or I traded with him to get this set. He sent me this and I sent him a um, one of the modulars for this. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Brickyard.